I'm Kapunga and welcome back to Kapunga's World and today we are doing something a little different as you can see the scenario and the background is a bit different we're doing a sit down um, we are discussing I don't know what the topic is but like we're talking about dating after 25 basically that's the whole discussion and why aren't we or why did we think we we're gonna get married by 25 um, and I have a special guest today a friend of mine will be joining me on this empty seat right here so without further ado guys let's go so we're back and I am sitting with the special guest um, what is your name my name is Andrea um, what do you want to know so basically i put up a post on my instagram i'm um, discussing what was it was it a meme or was it like it was a, a real... meme it was a funny meme it was a meme and basically it was the topic was um thinking that you like it was like oh you thought you'd be married by 25 but you're still single and that was like the context i'm like why did everyone think we were gonna get married at 25 and i'm one of those people mm. i thought i was gonna get married by 25. lie lie <laughs> that's not true mm -hmm. uh, so I put it up there because I was like, oh, it would be nice to have a discussion with other girls if yes. they're experiencing the same thing, um, like after the whole 25 period. So posted up on my story and number one pick, she won the race. <laughs> no, Andrea was literally the first person that I wanted. Like I was actually going to inbox you before I even put on my oh. story. Um, but that's all. Oh, let me just open up to the people because you don't know who else might want to yep. join the conversation. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then thankfully you actually... I wanted to join. I was keen. I yeah. Was keen. Imagine if I emotion and you didn't want to join. Then, <laughs> I, was like... then I look like rejected twice. You know, <laughs> if I put up my story and she already knows. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, but I was like, I'm a 26 year old. Sure. Spring chicken. <laughs> I don't know what else qualifies me for this. For those that don't know, I am 27. Yes. <laughs> Let's say what I do and who I am. Yes. Um, I'm a trauma therapist. <laughs> I don't know. Big girl jobs. How? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I show up to the office. Always oh, 30 minutes late. Oh? <laughs> I can't help you. But I, but I have clients that I see. I work primarily with kids and young people um, and women who've experienced family violence. I've worked for the last five years in the community services sector. And it, I guess it puts relationships in a different perspective when mm. you see... A different side yeah um i grew up adventist my father's a pastor my grandfather's a pastor she's a bk <laughs> when we talk about pressure <laughs> pressure ah. and not only that i'm romanian Fact. so we'll dive into it yeah we'll there's have a, a lot there's a lot there did you have like an ideal age that you thought you were gonna get married 23. at 23 whoa <laughs> <laughs> that's a baby <laughs> 23 that's a baby what was i doing at 23 i don't know yeah. <laughs> okay. i'm still 23 what do you mean what do you mean i'm, I'm still 25. <laughs> 25 no crazy so you actually thought okay i'm gonna get married by 23. yeah yeah Whoa. it was like conversation with with like friends we were little yeah. we were like what kind of wedding do you want Fabs. i would say i'm gonna get married to a doctor Okay, I am going to have five children. No, I don't know. It was like three to five. I'm gonna be married. Oh, I don't know in the Yarra Rangers at some vineyard. Oh, so you had it all. A ten-year-old me had a huge plan because my mum got married at twenty-three. Oh. So I was like, it set us up. It, it did. Up. Mm, I'm sort of the same. Yeah. So I, I was always twenty-five. Always. I don't know why, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna get married by twenty-five. Mm. at least be like if not married at least be like a stable relationship mm -hmm. by 25 looking to marriage you mm -hmm. know um i wanted to be a young mom i'm still young but you know what i mean like you wanted to have like kids yes. young, still be in your youth and like during that time and i think that's the whole premise of why i thought i was going to get married by 25 start having kids by 26 calm i still have my 20s to be young mm. mom fun mom but yeah. no one's telling you you're old you know the, the age of yeah <laughs> <laughs> we passed that. <laughs> Anywho, um, <laughs> and then my mom, she got married at 26. Mm -hmm. So when I hit 26, I was like, okay, you know, I still have, you know, mm -hmm. breathing room. I can get married roughly around like this time. Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm, diggity, I'm in, you know? <laughs> I'm 27. Um, <laughs> so it didn't, it didn't pan, you know, it didn't pan out the way we thought it. 23, oh my gosh, that's crazy. 23. Mm -hmm. It is crazy because I look at 23 year olds now and I'm yeah. like, but you were baby. <laughs> you were so little. When I look back at myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, if someone actually had to marry me at 25, 
I'm so sorry, I'll be the worst wife. Not that not in a bad way. Facts. So but facts. I really could I would not know what to bring in that environment. <laughs> but I look at like the age I expected to get married. What what would I personally have brought? Because I know a lot of girls who have gotten married, True. and when they got married, they were ready for it. Some maybe facts. weren't, but some were. And I think you know. Oh, I wanted to get married. Obviously, God had a different yeah. plan. <laughs> Obviously, Facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do think if I had gotten married at that age, what would have been the outcome? Yeah. I don't know what you would be eating. Yeah. <laughs> my cooking skills only improved after twenty three. <laughs> you see what I mean? And that's what I was like. Sometimes it's, it's divine that we weren't married at those ages because yeah. if, if we look back at ourselves at those ages, we'd be like, oh, I'm like, that's a baby. Like to yeah. me, I'm like, that's a baby. Like, what did I even know? How did like how was I living life? Could I even do adulting yeah. certainly well for me to even like be doing it with a partner? I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, what made us think we were gonna get married at twenty, at twenty three and twenty five? What made you think you were gonna get married at that age? Delusion. Delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Delusion. Delusion. So we're speaking loud. Right. Delusion. That's crazy. Yeah. What else besides societal pressures? What you're familiar yeah. with? What you're being told from a young age? And like, I mean, you think at what people consider like spinsters. <laughs> we are spinsters. We are spinsters. Yeah. But it's crazy oh. to think that 25, that's when people are like, hmm, she's getting old, isn't yeah. she? And there's something must be wrong. She's not married. I said, excuse me, let me get a job. <laughs> Full time. I'm a child bride. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but you know what I also think? If I had been in a committed relationship from when I was like 19, 20, oh. maybe. Yeah, it's different. Maybe. Yeah, but yeah. because I wasn't, I hit 23 and I was like, well, <laughs> may, maybe not. I hit 25 and I was like, <laughs> it's fine. I'm just going to stop thinking about it and oh, we'll yes. be fine. But do we ever? No. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. No, but I, it's literally true. Like what happens around us, I think when we hit, it's like once you start uni, depending on like your household and stuff, I know for me, my mom was like never dated high school, like never dated school. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then once you hit into uni, it's like, okay, you know, you with the big people. Yeah. You get an education. Meeting new people. Yeah, they expect you to start at least dating. Like it yeah. might not be serious, but at least start dating. Um, and I was like, okay, sweet. I'm in an environment. There should be new faces. I'm like, yes, I'm ready. My eyes are... Yes. Um, <laughs> as a <peel>. Locked in. <laughs> I wasn't locked in. <laughs> I was locked in, but it was locked in back at me. <laughs> so like, you, and then you, plus you, you go through like life, like you go through that. And then you, people are still asking you, okay, so when are you going to start dating? Yeah. And if you're not dating, okay. If you start dating, like, so are you thinking long term? Yeah. Like what's, what's, there's always a what's next for us. And then when you don't hit those what next, it makes it so, sometimes feel like not a failure, but like you're disappointed. No, but for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, you know, maybe not a failure, but it's like, and I talk about this with my parents and mm. like my friends all the time. It's like, I feel like I have achieved so much yeah. by the age of 26. Like I own my own home, but I feel like, you know, I have all these achievements, yeah. but then that's overshadowed by the fact that I'm you're single. Mm. And mm. it's like all my worth is put on this fact. Yeah. And like, I'll go back to Romania and that's the first question people oh, ask me. Same. And then mm. if they hear that I'm single, okay, well, I have this guy, I have this guy. Mm. And maybe 23 year old me was like, yeah, sure, like, whatever. Like, I'm happy. Maybe even 25 year old me. Fuck. But 20, almost 27 year old me yeah. is like, hang on. I think I became yeah. more picky like, yeah, yeah. as I, I got older. So much more yeah, because before, like, I know they're like, oh yeah, make a list, make a list, and I think mm -hmm. I made a list. Calm, it's there, okay. Mm -hmm. But as as you grow up, I think as we mentioned before, like we mature, like what our frontal lobe is like mm -hmm. cement now and ain't changing. So it's like we we mature to a point where like we know what at least we know our next five years, like what we yeah. want that to look like to some degree. And I'm not a future planner, like I suck at that. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing that has allowed me to be like, okay, the type of man I would want me to sort of fit also into that five-year image yeah. for my life. Um, so that changes who I let into my life yes. as well. So then it makes my, before my, my pool was yes. like this, now it's like, <laughs> now, it's, now it's this tiny little thing. 
And there's no one swimming in it. <laughs> Somebody to put your fish in the pool. <laughs> Do I go interstate? Do I? We have a dead pool. <laughs> what is happening? Like, oh my goodness, even at work. Yeah. At work, it's hard because. These are like, you know, people are nosy. They want to know. And the one thing... Which is funny. It's not just church. It's outside oh. too. That everybody is like intrigued 100%. in like relationships and like like statuses. And I'm like, oh, can I just oh. deal with it in one sector of my life? Yeah. <laughs> and I not have everybody asking me the same Literally. question. <laughs> and I was talking to the ladies at work and they were like, okay, you know, you, you got to start dating. Like, oh. what are you looking for? Yeah. They're also eager to like, you know, tell me about people. And I was like, they have to be Adventist. They have yeah. to be Romanian. Yeah. <laughs> and <it's> European. <laughs> and then, and then, as a joke, I said they have to be vegetarian. And that was the end of it. I was like, first off, I don't know how to cook meat. This is mm. probably why I'm not married. Mm. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Why? I grew up. That's fine. That's fine. That's it's fine. That's yeah. No, see, my mom used to be like that. It's funny. My mom was Adventist, but this she, but we were raised eating meat. Mm-hmm. So I only became like Virgo on my own, like mm-hmm. by my own choice. And she was like to me, like, oh, okay, when you like looking for a partner, the likeliness of you marrying someone who's also vegetarian is going to be very, very slim. Yeah. So she's like, you might have to broaden, yeah. I <laughs> you think have to I broaden have to, your spectrum a to... bit. Or like cut that off your, your list because it might be hard. It's not impossible. Like if, if God has it for you, like it will happen, you know. But mm. it's but at the same time we need to be flexible with our list as well, like to, yeah. to some degree. Like there's things that are non-negotiable to some things that are yep. negotiable. Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, so I was like, fine, well, I'm okay. For sure, the older I've gotten, the yeah. longer my list has gotten because the more comfortable I've gotten in my space. Talk about it, talk about it. <sighs> so about it. I have a routine. Yeah, facts. Oh. If, you are, if you are coming in disturbing my peace, for what? For what at this point? Literally. I feel like I'm not really missing anything. Yeah. There is moments for sure yeah. where I feel that longing and mm. that like I want a family. But then I look back at like my own personal ministry and I'm like, I would not have done half of the stuff I did for God if I had a partner. Mm. Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that guy. Mm. <laughs> Imagine, because I think about like people like, yo, you do so much, you got so much free time. I'm like, I don't have kids. I don't have, yeah. I don't have a husband. Yeah. So if I did, all my energy would go into my family. Yeah. So I wouldn't be doing anything for True. my Pathfinder Club, for choir. I wouldn't be doing anything. Imagine. And that's nuts to me. That's nuts because it's become such a big part of yeah. my life. And I see, you know, the influence I have yeah. on the kids I mentor and all oh. that. And I'm like, I would not have time for half the things. That's actually crazy. I've actually never thought about that like that. Because in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm just doing the things. And I'm like, hold on. You really wouldn't have time no. for anything else apart. Like, it would, everything would stem from your family, like family household. And then mm. you, you move from there. <gasps> I like being single. <laughs> but if you, for now anyway yeah but if you yeah, had yeah. a partner who did not view ministry yeah. the way you saw ministry could never be me yeah that'd be hard could never you be and me. it on your own basically oh. the comfortability of living on your mm. own being able to basically do everything on your own so in your head you're like do i really need a man you know what mm. i'm saying like I, it's at the point where like, i don't need you but i want you like mm. that's yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, yeah. it is because i genuinely I can fix a light bulb. Like I can fix a light yeah. bulb. I'm perfectly swell. I can take out the rubbish. I'm perfectly swell. Like mm. I don't like, I don't like, like it. it. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'll do it. I can do it. Like I'm capable of doing these things. And yeah. we don't want to date you so you can take out the rubbish. That's mm. that's not what we're trying to say. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mm, maybe me. Well. <laughs> my driveway is real long. Oh. And I've ever told my mom. My mom was like to me, "Don't live out of the house for too long because you're gonna get comfortable." Yeah. And I was like, I think it's a little late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm back home now, so I think I'm getting used to like, okay, there's people around Okay, you. maybe yeah. you're being prepped for... Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're being prepped for something. Yeah, okay, standards. Let's talk about the standards. Oh, yes. My dad, both my parents, in my opinion, yeah. were blessing and are very rare. Yeah. Because they took the standards of the Bible and they lived them. Like... Uh-huh. The way they were outside with people is the way they were in the home. My dad especially, mm. he is the best man I've ever met in my life. Ever. Yeah. Like, oh. if 
you know, if he has 10 fans, I'm one of them. He, he has five, I'm still there. If he has none, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm never my dad. I oh. love my dad. Oh, cool. He's amazing. I, the way I grew up is my perception of men is really good. Oh, like, cool. dad communicated really well with my mom. Mm. So patient. He shows his emotions, so he okay. doesn't hide them. No. So he will like talk about things mm. and that's like one thing the other thing is the things that like he you see him doing so yeah. he will always keep like everything he has in pristine condition wow. so he like values things yeah mm. and he will go out of his way to help other people mm. and he'll hold the door for me every single time without yeah when the standards are high <laughs> <laughs> he, will always, he will always let me and mum go first he will always oh. do everything so when we talk about and like, your firstborn daughter aren't you too when we talk about servant leadership yeah that's him yeah. i was like if i can find a man like my dad I will willingly submit. You're gonna have to marry a pastor. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Because <laughs> he's living up to the standards of, yeah, biblical standards, but not only that, like the standards of a leader, like a shepherd. Yeah, I didn't even flock. think about that. I was just thinking that he's a great dad and that everybody should be like that. <laughs> he has, you know, his relationship with God. And yeah. His calling probably has something yeah. to do with it. No, he's so everything, cool. everything flows. From that connection. Yes. So it makes sense why he is the man that you are describing him to be. Yeah. Her dad, actually, when I remember I came over to you at your house and I was watching your dad um, with your mom. It's like how your parents communicate. I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't see this before. Because <laughs> yeah. in, in in my household, like, of course, African parents, African household, it's sort of, it's a, oh, actually, I can't generalize, but it's quite different. But for me, one thing I did, like one thing I've noticed about my father growing up, when I was younger, me and my dad didn't have the best relationship, like during my teenage, early teenage years. And then growing up and learning, okay, I'm still baby girl. <laughs> I was always a, like daddy's girl. Growing up, I was always a daddy's girl. Teenage I don't think my dad didn't know how to manage a teenager, especially the female teenager, because he has two boys. So he's like, okay, oh, yeah. my, my boys are my boys. Girl, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Um, but then as I grew into like my 20 year olds and more independent and stuff, yeah, yeah. Um, that relationship changed as well. So now seeing how my dad is with me, I'm like, okay, there are qualities that I can learn that are good qualities in my father. Mm. Um, and I've realized like if I if like if anything happens in my life, like drop of a hat, something happens, a like car, sickness, whatever that might be. My dad, if I call him, when I say that man, run. <laughs> like, he yeah. will be there. Like, any emergency I have, like, he will actually be the first person to mm -hmm. come for me. Um, and then on top of that, like, if if I'm, like, low tempo, like, he, he will be the first person to notice, oh, my daughter's not happy. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember when I first moved in, back, moved in back with my family, and I was not having, like, the, the best transition in my life. Um, I was upset with people. And my dad, he was actually away. He went away for a while like he went back home and came back it's like the first thing he came back he's like mm. something's off with my daughter and he literally said out loud he's like oh why is my daughter not smiling like hey why aren't you smiling because you're always smiling in the house and mind you everyone else has probably seen it but no one had clocked it yeah. and he was like he was like talk to me like let me know like what's going on i don't talk to my dad so i didn't talk to him oh. but <laughs> like we don't talk like that we don't talk like oh my house life no 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 but he if he like, but he's willing to have those conversations. Mm. Does that make sense? If I wanted to, I know he would be willing to hear me out. Um, but like those things, I'm mean, realizing, like, oh, I do need someone who communicates. I do need someone who would be there for me. Like, yeah, yeah. And I always wondered to myself, like, why do I have? Because reliability has always been top of my list. Yeah, interesting. For everything in my life, and I didn't know why until like I was looking back like at my life with my dad and my relationship with my dad recently. I was like, oh, even since I was young. If I was at school and I was like, oh, I need, like, I didn't want to take the bus because we had to take a bus to get to school. I would call my dad and he would, be, and I'm like, oh, dad, I would lie. I'm such a bad girl. <laughs> I would lie. I'm such a bad girl. I don't want to take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was so bad. My dad would pick me up. He wouldn't even question yeah. it. He wouldn't be like, oh, are you sure you got a headache? He wouldn't even question my excuse, or whatever. Even if I had to wait an hour, or whatever, he would make sure he comes and picks me up. Yeah. So like with that upbringing, it makes sense why yeah. now yeah. I need to have a man who's reliable. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So like those things I'm realizing. Consistency, like, but isn't that masculinity what it's meant to be? Like divine masculinity. Same. 
Mm. For me, yeah. is you are consistent, yeah. you are strong, you are not emotionally like explosive because yeah. that's so unsafe. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, my relationship with my dad is safe. And I think that has helped me so much in my dating life mm. because I haven't gone out and sought men who were the same. Like the men that I sought were meant to be uh, like similar to the relationship with my dad. Mm. So I, you know, can acknowledge that women who don't have good relationships with yeah. their dad, they're seeking a similar dynamic because yeah. that's all they know. Mm. And how crazy that we have a heavenly father. Facts. Because that damage that's done is repaired yeah, through our healed. relationship with Christ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I was blessed enough to already have this. Mm. However, if I didn't, I would be a completely different woman. Yeah, I think we all would. Like if if I that's I think that's why in a, in a sense I'm like if I was still dating yeah. during my teenagers with the with the idea or the mentality that I had about like the way I saw my dad yeah, during then. Yeah. <laughs> would not be the greatest. Would, yeah. I would not be picking the greatest um, men at the at the pool. But now, I think that that little girls have healed, like in a way. Oh, I love that. So I think now I'm like in a better place where I can actually see the good in my father. Let that let alone see the good in the men that are, will be coming mm. in my way. So yeah, crazy. Like you know, waiting to a little bit older, how that changes your experience. <laughs> with dating yeah yeah yeah, it does listen we don't know that's the thing like we never know god's plan oh i 100 percent think the longer i waited to start that serious relationship the more i grew and the more i know i have to offer i know i will be a very good wife oh fact. now that so, so, she should be hydrating what dehydrating yeah doing mushroom marshmallows mushrooms marshmallows lord have mercy you need to leave. <laughs> there you go Ta I would oh. be. I like my hobbies in my free time have allowed me mm. to be able to run. If I was to be like a wife, I could literally do anything. Mm. I'm gonna bake bread. She'd be I'm gonna bread. make my own butter. Listen, you don't She'd have be to be <laughs> That you don't have to do that to be a good wife. Please. You don't. You don't. That's not part yeah, of the. But that's how you would like to run your household. How has the dating scene been like for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get up and leave. But coming, been, coming <laughs> she would have been finished she was ready. But coming out of it, like, what is it? What does dating look like for you now? <laughs> are, are you dating? It, <laughs> well, that's the thing. Are we seeking? <laughs> I think I may have gotten burnt Ooh, along the way nice, 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 yeah. because you're seeking something serious yeah. so i am going to be serious yeah. in my endeavor to find somebody mm. so i'm gonna get hurt ultimately because yeah. if i was like young and fun and free i'm probably gonna protect my heart a little bit more because yeah. my level of commitment is not how it is now mm. so like i am actively gonna be looking for somebody who i'm like yes i can make a life with you and then yeah. when i find someone and then they don't meet that and I, that doesn't work then mm. i'm like oh as a joke yeah as a joke. I better laugh. <laughs> <laughs> As a joke, me and my friends be signed up for Christian singles. Oh, I remember this. You sure did. Mm -hmm. It was not. It was not it. what I thought it was gonna be. It was not good. <laughs> it was not good. I I'm not an online dating girl. I realize I can't do it. No. I. It's so weird because. There's so many avenues now, like to meet people and stuff. And of course, online dating is one of them. There's so many options when it comes to on, online dating. My sister put me on one. I don't know. I think was it Bumble? One of the two. Yes. One of the two. And she, but she was controlling my account. But she put all my, she put all my like preferences, Christian, blah blah blah. But I don't know why. Like every time she would like show me someone, I'm like, ugh. Like, and not because the person's a no, bad that's person. Right. I just that's didn't have right. energy. Like I didn't didn't have the energy to like. Do the whole conversing online, the whole process of being on an app. I'm like, but I go on an app for social media. I go on an app to like learn something. I don't go on an app to start talking to a man. No offense. <laughs> no, but that's so true. And it's not because the men on the sites oh. were bad. Is because I was like, I literally could not fathom. Yeah. Being like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do What's you next? like cheese? <laughs> oh, I hated the small talk so 
so bad. I, I have no energy for that. it. Someone asked me, I remember this one time, someone asked me, what's your favorite color? And I was like, oh, this is my life. <laughs> oh, oh, it's green. <laughs> Please don't ask me again. I said, am I a child? <laughs> it's like asking me my favorite crayon. I said, oh. wow. This is what dating is. I said, no, get me off this app real fast. I was like, no, it's a no for me. <laughs> oh, and then meeting someone organically. I don't know about you, but I find it so awkward now that really? I'm older. Oh, I prefer it. No, like as in, oh, like, like when we you? have like over twenty five events or like other things. Oh, it's I'm presumed. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, are we all showing up because we're single? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's presumed. I'm mm. so it's so awkward because I'm like, I want to have a good time. I want to talk to people, yeah. and then it's like, but then you know, but I feel like sometimes you know when you meet someone. And you can tell their intentions straight away. Yeah. Especially in those type of environments. Because you... Everyone's coming with their own intent. Regardless of what it is. Like fun. Or like with jazz. But you know when you meet a guy and you're like... Okay, you're, you're, going, on, you're going a bit too... You're too intense. <laughs> for my liking. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stand in the corner a little bit. And then I'll come back. Continue <laughs> your dating stories. Mm-hmm. So now... What are, we, what are we looking for? So now... It's so much more complicated than just like, I'm going to go find somebody and then I'll be happy and I can marry. Oh, a bit, a bit, a bit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, it's like, I have not met anybody that I can genuinely say I would pursue somebody mm. because of how my standards are. So mm. I think something needs to shift. It's mm. either I need to understand, not that my standards are too high, but the, don't bring them down. No, I can't. Don't, don't, I can't. Don't, I don't even know what else yeah. to say. No, someone told me they're like, oh, whatever happens in life, like, don't ever bring your standards lower. It's no, not I that they're unattainable. That. It's that the people that are around you just don't match it. That's literally what but it is. But how sad is that? <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> That's so sad. Because it's like, I don't want to be single my whole life. But it's not, it's not but likely. But I cannot... No, some what is it? I don't know. If, I don't know who said this, but I'm always hearing these things like, oh, if it's a desire on your heart, God has placed a desire on you. It's mm. not. It's not that. It's not there for no reason. So which means it will be met eventually. It doesn't mean it will be today. Remember how God says soon and very soon, but we don't know what soon is. So <laughs> yeah. As people who are single, mm. go to big camp. Oh, for those that don't know what big camp is, big camp is literally our a big campery type of vibes like adventists from all of victoria from whichever state you are in will all get together For on a whole big weekend. land pitch your tents have services every night for like the weekend um and, and yes, that's so, the place to meet people. yeah yeah that's that's where you need to be be there be square mm. <laughs> and since then i i prayed and i was like lord if it's for me yeah or like if this is in my future give me a strong desire to pursue something because I mm. I will lock myself in my room and I'll be waiting for someone to come through my door and be like I'm ready mm-hmm. to get married <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like uh, if it's not coming from you it's yeah. not coming from me yeah. so I said if it is you know coming from you give me the desire to go out and meet people mm. if it's not take away any desire that I would have to get married you know mm. but the pain comes from yeah. you know that comes from being single and all that mm. I said take it away since then, I've kind of been chilling. Okay, cool. Like, on. I've been... So you got a peace. Peace about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I nice. have peace. And I nice. think my ministry flourished from that Ooh. point onwards. Because I was... I'm not as preoccupied now with finding somebody. Yeah. But I do know that it's coming. Good. So it's like... I am just and in a different... But, yeah. But I'm, in peace in the moment. Exactly. Okay, nice. So I'm in a different season. And I'm just going to wait. Mm. Let God work in this space. Yeah. And then after... My my follow up question was gonna be, um, how does it feel like when you see like younger kids? Like now we are attending mm. younger people's weddings, like people that are younger us, mm. younger than us. We go into their weddings, and I'm thinking like, mm. when it will when, <laughs> when will not it even, be my not even when will it be me? I'm like, oh, was I meant to hit that stage? Like in my head, I'm yeah. like, oh, when I was that age, that's this, this that is what was, I was meant to be doing. Like I'm like, oh, be me. yeah, I was like, is that meant to be me? Because I'm like, Lord. I'm meant to be walking down the aisle. Because I don't know I don't know if I wanted that then. Yeah. I mean I'm like, oh my god, you're babies, you baby. I know. I'm like, you're getting married while you're a baby, you're 23. You baby. Yeah. So it's so different, like <clears throat> now attending weddings for younger kids. Because I'm like, I'm basically your your elder. 
I'm oh, alright. Right. Like it's not too bad, but yeah. it is like <clears throat> I think humor helps a lot. Yeah, but say, if so, you don't laugh, you'll cry. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I laugh, I joke, you know, it's a yeah. good time, and then I go home. And <laughs> <laughs> I never know when you I'm like, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I also on the flip side I see how hard marriage can be. Yeah. And that's another thing and look i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that we're so comfortable with this independence mm. and like being single because 50 years ago we'll be already carved not gonna lie yeah yeah no this is making me so sad <laughs> no <laughs> cheer up cheer up cheer up nah 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 because i was gonna cry. say i was gonna say um oh what was it that just came into my head um mercy mercy where did it go why are you so funny? <laughs> but Why are you not married? <laughs> I'm okay with that. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I okay. do wonder because you are genuinely such a good catch. <laughs> do you know what it is? I think I've realized. I know we don't realize, realize, but realizing. You know when you know what you're looking for? Yeah. And. Okay, well, I'll go back to Big Camp. So Big Camp, again, was mentioned before, like, was always a place. Big, yeah. Big Camp, Converge. Converge is like yeah, a subject, yeah, but yeah. young adults. I probably should go to that. <laughs> but I've been going for five years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's another discussion. <laughs> Not for today. Get to Converge. And I remember I walked into Converge, like, my eyes were, like, shut. Mm. And I just went like, I just knew when I was walking, I was like, I know I'm not looking for anyone. I don't care if you approach me. I just know I'm not in the headspace. Not in the headspace, but like, I know I'm not going to find my person here. Yeah. Because before I was like, oh my God, I would always go like, you know, you know, I know, I know. I'm excited, white eyed, you know, Ever which is since hey, I was 16. <laughs> Every makeup. This is so bad, but I know this is a universal experience for every girl that goes. Any Christian camp, if you go to Christian camps, you know, you know the vibes. Um, so yeah, but this year, even leading to big camp, like even this, like this year, I went to Converge, I was like, okay. And it's so funny because I met a guy there this year that I was interested in the year before. Mm. But I looked at him this year and I was like, oh. And not because, not because he's not a good looking boy. He just wasn't the guy that I... The appeal that I had, that he had for me the year before, interesting, gone. Like I was like, and there was this year there was so many good looking guys, like everywhere they'll be popping out, and it was like a whole new environment, like new people. I explained to me on my eyes like this. <laughs> I said sorry to you. I don't care how good looking you are. I could keep, but I was kicking. <laughs> and I remember one girl asked me. She was like to me, "Oh, are you single?" Out of the gun, random. I just met her literally five seconds, like in that moment. I introduced myself. Hi, I'm capable of like. Asked me out of the out of random. Oh, so you single? And I said, yeah, but not looking. Dead or dead. And I was like, that's my call. You know, you can't just something like, oh. Because <laughs> that's the first time I actually had said those words. And I was like, oh snap! I really, I'm really not looking. Like I walked in, I had the feeling in my heart that I'm not gonna be looking, but actually to say those words, mm. I was like, ah. So even like Big Ham, I was happy to see. I get excited for the younger generation because I'm like, yes. I'm calm, bro. Like yeah. I'm in a place now where I'm like. I know, it sounds weird, but like I know my person is not in that environment or not in that space, like that room that I'm walking into. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not missing out on anything, if that makes sense. Because yeah, sometimes we used to walk yeah. into like big camps or like I those know, camps. Like, who could it be? Yeah. So you think, and, oh, you've missed an opportunity yeah. or um, you're watching everyone else get it. And you're like, okay, why am I not, you know, yeah. why am I not, not meeting someone? But I'm like, oh, no, it's actually okay because. One, I'm not looking for anyone, so if anyone's looking for me, I'm so sorry to you, Sam. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, it's not this year, I so, But I do know that it's coming. But, like, when it comes or how it arrives, that's in God's hands. That, that's, how, yeah. that's where I'm sort of sitting with my current dating life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. But let's talk about the impact that being single has on your relationship with God. Because I'm, sometimes, <laughs> I'll, he won't answer something, and I'll be like, why you make me single? <laughs> Why is it you made me single? Why you not bring anybody? And I'm getting mad. And then I oh. feel like my relationship with God sometimes suffers. Suffers. Oh, nice. But I think this year it's been like a f- bit of a mm. flip. Mm. And it's been since, yeah, since big camp, it's been my understanding has been different. Mm. Yeah. But like, yeah, 23 year old me when I was thinking I was going to get married and I'd be like, Lord, you've done it. What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> If you can do it for your friends, you can do it for yeah. me. Yeah, no, it'd be like that. It'd be like do that. Do not love me. 
why why not do this but then oh, okay, i've given those prayers <laughs> up but i said ah yeah <laughs> i but it's really interesting because i only fully understood and saw a different perspective when i watched an episode of the chosen mm, oh love oh i'm not off i'm not off today guys i left in season two okay we're not going to discuss it we'll discuss <laughs> it when the cameras are off we will. I love this season two. I said, bye. No, it's so good. But there's this one clip where they've made one of the disciples. They've made him a bit crippled. So, like, he's got, oh, like, a physical... Oh, I watched that. And then when he got asked... When he asked God, oh, God Jesus, yes. what, what's... Why he yeah. hasn't been healed? Yeah. And I was crying. I was watching this. But it just, like... It stuck with me because Jesus was like, imagine the impact that you yeah. will have healing people. So, it's like praising God through every single circumstance, every single suffering. And being a single woman in your like mid twenties is not easy yeah. because yeah, like I said before, it's like all of your achievements equal nothing mm. because you do not have a partner. Oh. So I was like, no, I will praise God even in yeah. what some consider suffering, even though I no longer consider it suffering. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. I would have been sad. Maybe a year ago. I'm, yeah, I'm but chilling. now I'm chilling. Yeah, I think so. I'm like same. Like I'm in a place where I'm like, if it comes, it comes. Am I ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I found it. Um, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm sorry. The, the value of marriage. Mm. I think that changed as well for me because you know when you're young, you're like, oh my god, I want to get married. I want to get married. And in our head, I don't know for anyone else, but in my head, the vision of marriage was. The wedding the and it and it's it's in a sense stopped there and yeah. and it's not that it was a bad thing but like okay and it was like okay partnership those are the things that i thought of when it was married wedding you know your parents partnership like that whole Children. ceremony yeah yeah the small elements that yeah. make the the family picture you know yeah. not the actual hard work not the actual partnership not the, the fact actual that you sleep in the same bed with ah, somebody I imagine i you cannot in the same share space. a tuna <laughs> What do you mean? You might be going to the toilet or I might be, you might walk in. What do you mean? I don't have privacy anymore and you have become part of me. What? But even like, on even I think for me, it's on the spiritual level and a mission level, that's what I, I realized changed for me. Because like, then when you look at like what God's image for like marriage and like the mm. whole being one, I think, okay, what are you doing in life what's your purpose how are you working working in your purpose how are you moving can i align with that that ministry yeah. can i align with your mission on this earth on this earth like whatever you're doing and if i can't see myself and that's what that's why like even though he's a good guy the whole concept but if he's a good guy it doesn't mean he's a good guy for me but like we might <laughs> we might not align in that space so it's also thinking about okay what are you doing how are you moving can we move together like how they said you have to work walk like the yoke, equally yoke. So you're, yes. basically, you're basically walking in the same path. And it's like, again, it's not like you have to be doing the same thing, but do you support each other on that level? I have seen a lot of their marriages where they don't even like each other. Oh. And what do you mean your partner yells and swears at you? The moment anybody ever calls me a name, yeah. even step friendship, up, friendship <laughs> wise. It's like if you are so angry that in that level of anger you could not hold the respect mm. that we have, mutual mm. respect, that means you never had that respect for me but, to begin with. Mm. Yeah, so that stems from there. That's for me, that's my uh, non negotiable. Because listen, this is another thing I blame my mum <laughs> for the fact that I'm single at 26. <laughs> <laughs> because every guy I've ever liked, I'd be like, hey mum, you, oh. you, you see this guy? Ooh. She'd be like, hmm. And then. The next day, I'd be like, what did you do? Where did he go? Like, he's not answering my messages. Like, he was so keen. Like, oh, two no. days ago, and now he's not keen. I prayed about it. But let's talk about it. The prayers. The the, the prayers that we make. Ah, this one that has shook the whole community. Could you give me? God, if he's the one for me. Oi! That's a sign. That's when you know. Stop. You have to just stop talking. You stop knowing. Multiple times, I not multiple times I've prayed that prayer, but like multiple times, anytime that I have prayed that prayer, when you get an answer, you will get an answer. Yes, it will be answered with the quickness. Yeah, okay, expedited from heaven. Be <laughs> careful, be careful. That prayer is strong, it's strong. 
Remember, I did. Um, you probably would have seen it on my story as well, because I'd be telling everyone about my business on story. Um, but yeah, I, I posted something on my story about a guy who was in the ends. Okay, he was in our in our corners. <laughs> He's still in our corners, but um, like in, in in Australia. Okay, not in our state, but. And I and I said to I said I, I was so stupid. I said these are the back words that came out of my mouth. I was like, if it's God's will, I said, okay, why you have to open your big mouth? <laughs> Where is he now? God, literally, it was so Where weird. Is he? It was so weird. Literally, I inboxed him. He replied with a quickness. Bow. Yeah. Oh, it's then clean. I made it's then so I made clean. the video, and then I had already replied to the other inbox. I made the video. It went to me after that video. No reply. Twenty four hours passed. No reply. I said, wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, stay on my business. Stop this. And the most embarrassing part was people came asking me, so, okay, what's the update? I was like, yeah, what, what an update? <laughs> okay. I said, I it's, up. it's up. It's <laughs> up. Definitely up. Ask the Lord. I said, ask the Lord. <laughs> I don't have the update. The man's upstairs has updates. I said, don't worry about me. I'm quiet. <laughs> yeah. I'm quiet. No, I feel like I am definitely single by divine intervention. <laughs> I'm gonna get that as a bumper sticker. Single by divine intervention. I need to put that as a shirt. I need that as a shirt. Is it protection though? I think it is. Is it God's love for us to protect us from some things? But then I'm like, why don't protect my friends? <laughs> Did they pray the prayer though? Pray the prayer. You have to say you have to say the words. If you don't say the words, then it's it's on your own accord. Okay, <laughs> we can't help you. <laughs> that man don't play. He don't play. Especially, I think it is a level of protection because yeah, without it. Sometimes I think about, okay, what would I have done if I if we did start talking? Like, what would that even look like? And I'm like, oh, mm, never mind, don't worry about me. That's not. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm good. I said, I heard you. Shut it down. Last thing. Mm, mm, mm. If you had, because I know a lot of girlies that are watching this probably under 25. Mm. Um, if you had to give one piece of advice to either yourself when you were that age, like before you're 25, leading up to it, or to basically just the girls that are watching, what is that one piece of advice? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you would like to give mm, that's a good question I would say be friends first Oh, that's it that's like my biggest thing besides you know have God at the center of it and mm -hmm. pray about it mm -hmm. of course have that that's mm -hmm. like I'm assuming that that is a path that is already taken Yeah. but be friends first because mm -hmm. the amount of girls from the ages of the girls that I mentor to my friends to even like women who I have who are way older mm, than me true. who just jump in quickly to a relationship because they met on Bumble because they met on Tinder because they yeah. met at a random church event and they started talking right out the gate yeah. and that friendship was never developed like they never got to see that man when he was tired mm. when he was grumpy when he was hungry and they were like I love him I'm like girl you don't know him you don't know you just got you just laughing at his not very funny jokes please a little kiki key key. <laughs> so, so be friends first because it gives you that opportunity without the pressure mm. without the because it's a lot of pressure when you start dating someone mm. in especially if you're going to date someone in the christian community so much pressure yes. and it just gets worse as you get older so <laughs> And I mean by older, you hit 21 and the pressure, the pressure <laughs> it increases. It. <laughs> yeah. But. So if you're friends with somebody, it just takes that pressure off. And mm. then, I don't know, you do you, whatever happens after. Yeah. But just get to know them. I think a piece of advice I'll give, oh my gosh, don't compare yourself. Mm. I think that's the biggest one because I feel like regardless of what community you're in, I feel like a lot of us, just girls in general, naturally yeah we are prone to comparing outside of like visuals and like appearances when it comes to relationships oh my friend is dating why am i not dating or oh that person's getting married why am i not getting married like you i feel like naturally you all do that like and i think i did it too at a certain period of time so like learning to understand that their storyline is on your storyline yeah. and what it, what your storyline might look like will be different to theirs as well because you don't know who's probably jealous about you, like jealous about you yeah and like they're probably in a relationship and they're like oh, i wish i was single yeah so you really don't know what and i've realized a lot of relationships you really don't know that relationship because mm -hmm. you're not in it so what you see is a surface unless you're around them all the time like let's say it's a siblings relationship you don't know what happens behind closed doors mm -hmm. so Again, that's why I say do not compare your status of where you are right now 
with someone else because it will come to you when it's meant to come to you like yeah. what is for you is for you no one can take that from you yeah just live in that space because i feel like that's where a lot of us get lost like oh no i wish i should have again that 25 year old why was i thinking 25 because i was seeing people at 25 get married it wasn't my calling okay <laughs> it wasn't for me so what is for you will be for you yeah. but yeah i think that that's my yeah piece of advice even to myself there's so much like the verse that it's like don't awaken love before it's time Ooh. i think it's in proverbs that's a really good one my to quote, quote my grandfather and he says it's better to be single wishing to be married than married and wishing to be single right. yeah, so when you're talking about marriage it is as god intended a commitment for yeah. life yeah, very much so, so I would much rather be taking my time mm. than be stressed. Literally, that's what Thomas said. Like your singlehood is so short. If you mm. if, if you it's actually if you're going to meet, and on top of that, if if you actually are dating to marriage, like to marry, if you're yeah. dating to date, live your life. You know, live your life. Who, no. who are we? Yeah. But like, if you're dating to marry, your singlehood it should be the most precious time yeah. of your life because you literally are by yourself for like. What's it? Well, let's say you get married, twenty-three years, and then how many more years do you have with another person, not just by yourself? For, for, but yeah, let's say like enjoy, enjoy the singlehood as much as we be talking about marriages and stuff like that, and, and like relationships and dating long term. Enjoy your singlehood. Like we time. really, we really do promote singlehood. Like so yeah, take your time, know what you want, who you want, who is giving you the person you want. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that way when you actually find this person, you know like the next few years or 10 years 50 years whatever that might look like are more beneficial to you than what your single what was you don't want it to be the other way around um i hope you guys enjoyed this chat i hope that we've said anything worthwhile um that you can take <laughs> away <laughs> that you can take yeah. away as always say so guys don't forget to like down below comment below anything that you took out of the discussion subscribe on the big red button down below if you want to subscribe and see the rest of my content other than that guys as always say god bless and i love you so 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 much bye, bye.